Alright guys, how's it going? So this video is to address a comment on the YouTube video and the user was basically highlighting the fact that you can't display an empty name you know that way you can display a bone name for example and he's kind of right and kind of wrong in the same context, it's kind of strange but what we can actually do is use things like the viewport display options so just to give you an example, I'm going to spin the default cube of mystery Ooh. I'm going to come to the object properties, which is this kind of orange square and I'll come down to viewport display and you can see here we actually have a few different options we can display things like the name, so we now know that it's a cube we can display the axis that it's on, which certainly helps when you're animating you can also enable wireframe, which is pretty handy as well and you can do a few other things, all edges, texture space, you can enable and disable shadows you can also put it in front of the UI and we also have a few different display type methods so you can display as a texture, a solid, a wireframe or you can just do like a bounding box and you can actually control the bounding box in terms of what shape you would like as well so this can actually speed up your interface so it's pretty handy to know so if you've got lots of things sitting in a background it might be worth just changing things to a bounding box but this kind of does address the issue of having a name with your empty so if I come up to add and I quickly add in an empty and I'll just do a plain axis for example and I'll just quickly move it here you can see the viewport display options are slightly limited but I can definitely display the name of the empty and obviously if I rename the name to anything I want it will give me the name for the object and this can actually be keyframed as well I don't know why you would use this but if you're definitely keeping things clean in terms of the UI you can keyframe this on and off so you can do something like this I'll take it off, I'll keyframe it again so the name will basically keyframe on and off at any point which might be a good indication and it might help you in terms of just keeping your UI organised so that's pretty much the viewport display options there's not much to it to be honest and each object kind of has slightly different variation of how it displays do me a favour guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, it costs you absolutely nothing, just hit that button. Follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. Peace.